Hey everybody, uh, Dr. Luke from the Pain and Wellness Group. Uh, obviously, we just closed the office today for two weeks because of all this, this, this stuff going on. But what we wanted to do was give you some, uh, some ideas to stay healthy and stay well. So obviously, it's not on here first, but down here we have exercise. Make sure you're getting outside and doing daily exercise, whether that's walking, running, lifting weights, doing some high intensity training. Make sure you're doing the exercises and stretches that we gave to you here in the office. Um, and make sure you're doing your foam rolling. Those two things are gonna be key in maintaining the work that you have already done in the office. So when you get back on Monday the 30th, Things will just keep rolling and kick off and we'll get you back on track way easier. If you take the next two weeks and sit at home drinking beer and eating candy, you're going to come back and you're going to start right from scratch. So don't let that happen. Um, just so you know, these are things that we're doing to stay healthy. Every day we're taking these supplements. So you've got vitamin C, 4,000 milligrams per day. Vitamin D, 5,000 IUs per day. I'm using oil of oregano because it's an antibacterial or antiviral. Uh, so like I, what I'll do is put a couple of drops in water and I drink it each morning. My kids, I take honey on a spoon, I put drops of the oil of oregano, put honey on, on it and have them eat it. So they're getting that stuff in there every day. Uh, we take an elderberry, we're doing probiotics, uh, all those anti antibacterial lotions and soaps that everybody's using. That's getting on the food, going into your gut, and killing your natural biome. So make sure you're taking probiotics to keep the, the healthy bacteria in your gut there. Um, obviously, stay hydrated. If you drink a lot of water, if that bacterial virus is in your, in your throat, you're drinking water, and it's going into your gut, and your gut is destroying it. Um, and then also take elderberry. Uh, then these are the things that I do to reduce stress. Um, so stress is a killer of your immune system. Uh, if you're able to do these, go and do them. And these are good to remember for the future. Do your salt floats. It helps detox. It's a huge detox for your body. Get those, those massages. It helps relax physical and emotional. Make sure you meditate daily. Do your daily exercise we spoke about. Get adjusted. Adjustments are proven to reduce your immune or increase your immune system. Uh, increase uh, your NK cells, your white blood cells. Um, and then the last thing is that it is, uh, helps you detox, uh, kills uh, bacteria and viruses. Um, it's just really good for, to boost that immune system. So these are just a few things. I thought I'd send it out there. If you need us, text us, call us, email us. Uh, but we'll see you on the 30th. Have a good one, guys. Stay safe.